Good morning. Good morning. We are just getting ready to head, uh, starting on the Arizona Peace Trail. It is about uh, 7 in the morning. Uh, we're out of Welton. Clockwise loop, head towards Yuma. We'll see you later. We live in a beach community in San Diego and wanted to come out and ride the Arizona desert. We wanted to do it during the cooler months and hopefully less dust too. We had been checking the 10 day forecast for Western Arizona and it was a go. No rain, but definitely on the cool side. We left from Welton to Quartzsite. 155 miles, the longest day of the trip with the fastest roads. On our first hour on the road, it was so nice watching the sunrise and also thinking, boy, it sure looks like rain. Two hours later, the scattered rain started and we stopped at Hippie Camp next to the Colorado River to put on some rain gear. Fortunately, all our gear is in a waterproof container. It took every bit of daylight to make it to Quartzsite. We were going to camp, but the weather forecast made us take a hotel. We finally made it. We are in Quartzsite. It rained about 80 miles of the roughly 150 miles we did today. And um, got a little wet, had ponchos, did all the stuff we had to do. And um, I think Clara had a good time. I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, stay tuned for more information. We'll see how it goes tomorrow. Tomorrow we're off to Lake Havasu. We filled up our coffee mugs and left Quartzsite at 7.30 to Lake Havasu. It had rained all night, was very cloudy and cold in the morning. After about one and a half hours of driving, the scattered rain started again. We found water damage on the trails, which slowed us down. Arrived at Lake Havasu 98 miles later. We put the razor cover on for the night because the forecast was more rain. Went to have a wonderful dinner across from the London Bridge. We reviewed our Arizona Peace Trail Atlas route for the next day to Kingman. It's been raining on and off all night since we've been at Lake Havasu. We've also been getting into the driving groove, which means traveling as fast as you can, using caution, and keeping your stops to a minimal. The continuous rain keeps the trails changing. So far, it's been taking us all day to get to our next location with some go-arounds. We fill up fuel at every town and fill up two five-gallon fuel containers for just in case. We have trail-type snacks for during the day and plenty of water. Arriving in Kingman sure was cold. We had to stop at a local coffee shop. After the tasty brew, we headed to our hotel and dinner for the evening. Our destination today was Lake Alamo, 140 miles. The day started out cloudy, but forecast was no rain and eventually sunshine. Packed up our coffee to go and headed on the trail. Enjoying our first real day of sunshine, no one around, and listening to our favorite music. Riding on some very challenging wet trails, we spotted a Prius stuck on an uphill. A young 20-year-old man from the Bay Area had been stuck for two and a half hours. He was trying to get to the California border. With no time to spare, we hitched him up and pulled him out. Unable to do two deep water crossings to get to our destination, we had to backtrack 60 miles. It sure paid off having the extra 10 gallons of gas for this unexpected day. Set up camp along the trail and enjoyed a hot soup dinner, a wonderful campfire, and UFOs. Some people call them the Phoenix Lights. After the unreal light show from last night, and without wine, we brewed our coffee, filled our mugs, packed up camp and hit the road. Watching a beautiful sunrise and having clear skies, it was so nice to be jamming again. The trails to this section are very nice with some nice optional side trails. Our travel goals have changed since yesterday's reroutes. Today, we are planning on the town of Salome for fuel, food, and keep on southward to make our final camp. Had we mentioned how much we enjoy music while on the road? Oh my god. Everything went according to plan and we found a great place to camp. 
We enjoyed a wonderful sunset and loved the mountain views. Heated up from soup for dinner and got camp ready for the evening. You're not even going to believe this, but we saw those triangular lights again in the sky for about five minutes. Making our last cup of coffee at camp and watching the sunrise was fantastic. We finally took our time breaking camp and enjoying our last day. We had about 100 miles to Coyote Wash near our hotel in Welton. We had a blast and can't wait to come back and show friends. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.